So Suriname is indeed really rich of wildlife. It's also the greenest country on earth, like about 94% jungle. And in these jungles, there's still like tapirs, jaguars, uh, bush dogs, uh, uh, giant ant eaters, uh, that kind of animals. I started here when I was 18, and I looked for a place for internship on reptiles and amphibians. But I really wanted to go to South America, to a jungle. And if you come from the Netherlands, Suriname uh, is quite easy because they speak Dutch here as well. So that was actually a really easy choice, but then when I when I stayed here a little longer, I came back a few times, I discovered that not many people are actually specialized here, not many researchers come here. So you could still be so much more than, for example, if you're in the Netherlands, if you want to do some research after uh, a frog or a toad or a snake, uh, uh, most of the research already have been done. And if you're here, you can actually find new species, new locations, uh, completely new things. With over a hundred species of snakes, just you can walk here for 30, 40 years and still not have seen all species. So it's so special to encounter the animals here and it really never gets boring, you just can't keep coming here. Fritillens, the most common uh, venomous snake in, uh, in Suriname. Not aggressive, but they have with camouflage, that makes the risk a lot higher that you step on it. This is a juvenile one, and actually the juvenile ones are more dangerous than the adult mm -hmm. ones because the adult ones they save, they rather save their their venom for mm -hmm. something they, they can eat, and the younger ones they don't have so much control over the venom glands. So if they bite something, they just inject everything they have. This is by far the biggest one I've seen. Really? Huge! Yeah. And that's one of my favorite species because they're usually listed as uh, kind of aggressive or nervous snakes. But if you handle that com them correctly from the start on, the moment that you, that you find them, They'll be, they'll calm down eventually. I even had one here in the base camp that after about five or ten minutes I could just put it in my neck and didn't even bite, just crawl a little bit and uh, after, after a while they, they know you're not their enemy and they know you're not trying to attack them or eat them or anything. Yeah, I'll never get, get really anxious or afraid of the, the snakes here. It's just, if you're here for a longer period of time and you get to know the species and you get to know the behavior, you don't, you know, it, you don't have to be afraid anymore. So, if you can expect what they do, how they're gonna move, and when they're gonna bite or when they not bite, then it's just more of like a, uh, it becomes like a hobby. Like it, you really want to find them, and you really want uh, some species to handle, and you can show them to people. You can actually teach a lot of people that they don't have to be afraid of all the snakes. I mean, there's so many species of snakes, and m most of them won't even try to bite you. Yeah, no? Time is gone. Yeah. Hey, Fabex, this is fine.